Hey, welcome to another episode here on Pusher TV. Today we're going to be talking about charge tubes, specifically for the 2011 to 2019 Super Duty trucks with a 6.7 liter power stroke, like the one I have here behind me. So let's first start with the cold side, which basically connects your intercooler outlet to your intake manifold. Here we have the two different designs that came during this year range. This is the 2011 to 16 design. It's mainly plastic, um, and it's just been a very problematic part. It's really a matter of when, not if, when this thing blows apart, no matter what you have on the truck. If it's a bone stock truck, these have left many people on the side of the road. And then 17, they switched to a more uh, radiator rubber hose style thing here. And so at the time of filming of this video, these trucks are still pretty young. We'll see how long they last. Radiator hose definitely has a lifespan. And so the reason we have this tube is because these have been very problematic and don't have the best flow. You can see they do make a lot of bends uh, and there's a lot of stuff that snake around the engine bay. So when you are shopping for a replacement, speaking of which, those are entire assemblies you have to buy as an assembly from the dealer. Current list on them right now is 160 bucks. So if you have any type of problem, there's no serviceable parts. It's a whole assembly you have to buy. And so those are about 160 bucks. If you're shopping for an aftermarket version, one thing you really want to make sure is that it has multiple bends. If it's just a one single bend piece of pipe that would lay flat on a table, stay away from it. There's no geometric way to get from the intercooler outlet to the throttle valve uh, with one bend you, without rubbing on something in the engine base. So you can see ours has a three-dimensional kind of helical bend here. So this guy is supplied with a couple that comes out of your intercooler, very heavy duty, rated for compound system level, boost levels, full stainless T-bolt clamps, comes into your charge tube, as we're going through our charge tube, we have a CNC machined intake air temp sensor port here that utilizes a really nice brushed stainless hold down bracket that holds it in place. Uh, I've seen a lot of other designs on the aftermarket that have like a set screw that comes to the side that you can damage the sensor with if you screw it in too much. And so this is really nice, you know, no real, you know, opportunity to damage the sensor with this. Then after that, you have two eighth inch MPT ports. That thread is the most common thread for a water meth injector, a boost gauge pickup nitrous injector. Um, and so if you don't have a use form, no big deal. All of our parts come with a matching number of anodized black aluminum plugs to seal them off, keep your boost where it's supposed to be until you're ready to use them. This also have, has nice big beads on the end, again, rated for compound system level boost levels. And then you have two options from how you connect your intake manifold. If you have a tuned truck, you can go with our throttle valve adapter. This guy replaces your throttle valve and utilizes a nice O-ring connection that's rated for at least 100 PSI. All of our current O-ring designs are rated for that. That's really nice because the factory gasket is very thin metal. It's really kind of a one-time use type deal. So if you have to work on the truck or do whatever and take this off, you don't have to go get another factory gasket. This O-ring can come on and off as many times as you want. Um, and then the bolt to your intake manifold, we supply really nice flanged head bolts, very much like the factory units, as well as stainless washers to protect your powder coat as you're tightening them. And then a very heavy duty, again, silicone coupler with all stainless T-bolt clamps. The other option you have is a throttle valve adapter, which is much like the factory charge tubes, although this is a fully machined 6061 aluminum adapter that's also anodized in our signature titanium finish. Anodizing just pretty much eliminates corrosion with aluminum. It's really nice, uh, awesome option. This utilizes your same C-clip connection that the factory tubes do and an O-ring that seals to the outside of your throttle valve. And then again, another very heavy duty silicone coupler and T-bolt clamps to finish off your connection. So this is listed on our site. It can be bought separately or you can buy it in a kit with the hot side. It has similar issues, not as common as the plastic charge tubes. Again, these are full assemblies. You can only buy the whole assembly. And the factory charger uses a C-clip style connection and what that does is it uses a C-clip here to slip over and fall in a groove, and that holds this connection to the outlet of your turbo. And then it uses kind of a wiper style, you know, O-ring, real thin uh, style O-ring. And so if you ever have an issue anywhere in here, you blow a coupler, you have a problem with that O-ring, again, whole assembly. This is about a hundred bucks list uh, from the factory. Same for the, this is the 17 and newer model. This is your 11 to 16 model. What we have is a full three inch, again, mandrel bent, fully TIG welded assembly. We use the same C-clip connection. You're you know, really forced to do that if you want to do this correctly with, again, an internal O-ring a lot like this adapter. It's a standard O-ring, very easy to source. 
And then again, a nice heavy duty coupler, all stainless clamps. So again, something to look at when you're shopping for this type of stuff is this. This is very important that you have the right size and designed machine adapter to go to that factory turbo outlet. I've seen a lot of stuff where they have just a beady connection here and then you clamp a coupler to the end of that turbo and that connection is not meant for that. It's got some sharp ridges and stuff that will eventually cut into a coupler. So this is very key plus you know, your TIG welding and stuff like that. So these are available as a kit. They're available separate. Uh, we stock them in six colors. This is our titanium powder coat color. We also stock red, white, blue, black, green, and then this titanium, an unfinished uh, option as well. If you're doing your own powder coat, your own color scheme, uh, you can do that, not pay for us to powder coat it. Or if you want us to do something custom, just give us a call. We quote that uh, accordingly. Uh, there's a lot of information on our site about either one. If you have any questions or concerns about it, check out the site. If you can't find what you're looking for there, we're here for you. Give us a call, shoot us an email, and thanks for watching.